The Fifth United Nations Environment Assembly concluded March 2, 2022, in Nairobi, Kenya, with 14 resolutions to strengthen actions for nature to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals. Senusha's Minister for Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology and Vocational Training attended the global gathering of leaders. The UN Environment Assembly is made up of 193 UN member states and convenes every two years to advance global environmental governance. The assembly was held in a hybrid format this year of in-person and virtual meetings due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Addressing the plenary session, Honorable Sean Edward reiterated Senusha's commitment to its contribution to global environmental sustainability. Senusha, he said, has demonstrated a participatory approach to a sustainable future by ensuring good practice in environmental governance through the ratification of the first environmental human rights treaty in the Caribbean and Latin America, the Escazú Agreement. St. Lucia's efforts in addressing climate change have been extended to the protection of the ozone layer, with the most recent achievement being our ratification of the Kigali Amendment in November of 2021. This amendment is poised to avoid up to 0.4 degrees Celsius of global temperature rise by the end of this century. It is also critical that we work towards mainstream maintaining fresh water for nature and humanity, and balancing food provision from our oceans and coast with nature protection. The resolution agreement arrived at at the UN Environment Assembly has been deemed the most significant environmental deal since the Paris Accord, with the Ministers for the Environment establishing an intergovernmental negotiating committee with the mandate to forge a legally binding agreement to end plastic pollution by the end of 2024. Also agreed to are actions to protect, conserve, restore, sustainably use, and manage ecosystems. In that regard, Honorable Sean Edward underscored government's deep desire to conserve the island's wetlands in order to achieve not only biodiversity protection, climate mitigation and adaptation, but job creation and poverty reduction as well. St. Lucia's efforts and the rehabilitation of many degraded ecosystems across the island reflect our commitment to the decade of ecosystem restoration. This action has resulted in the reversal of some biodiversity loss and increased awareness of the importance of biodiversity and its benefits to society. St. Lucia is actively pursuing the enactment of legislation to strengthen efforts in biodiversity conservation to further reduce biodiversity loss. Recognizing the important role that biodiversity plays in the development of a nation, St. Lucia is in the final stages of ratifying the Nagoya Protocol on Access and Benefits Sharing. Highlighting St. Lucia's vulnerabilities as a small island developing state, Honorable Edward outlined government's strategy for a sustainable and resilient nation through the integration of environmental considerations in all infrastructure plans. As a nation, we continue to put our people first in environmental management and sustainable development. We welcome partnerships in the implementation of our various policies, strategies, and plans encompassing biodiversity, oceans, climate change, waste management, among others, all focused on enhancing our sustainable development efforts and preserving the livelihoods and well-being of our people. Honorable Sean Edward was accompanied to the UN Environment Assembly by Deputy Permanent Secretary in the Department of Sustainable Development, Ms. Silka Tobias. From the Government Information Service, Lisa Joseph reporting.